I don't foresee it being foresee, sis. You get it? <laughs> okay, that was cheesy and corny. I'm sorry. Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef V, if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome to this Jamaican and extended Caribbean family, make sure to you subscribe down below. Now for today's video, I am super excited because I will be trying some clippings that I found at my beauty supply store. Like you guys don't know how amped I was to go into the beauty supply store, I was just there minding my business i didn't even need anything i just said you know what let me just go check out what's in the beauty supply store girl clippings for 35 dollars are you crazy and i'm like hello i'm seeing clippings it says human hair clippings now it says it is 100% human hair blend, which I know is not 100% human hair because it says human hair blend. If you had quick weave back in the day, you know that when it says premium hair human blend, it's not 100% human hair. We know that. But like, I'm like 30, 38 Canadian dollars. So I'm thinking that's like 20 something US dollars. I'm like, I'm getting clippings for that amount of money and it's supposed to act like 100% human hair so I'm like you know what girl we gonna try it I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna see how it works because I'm like how come anybody put me on this like we out here buying clippings for how much and how much money and then you got $38 clippings in the store set. okay so it has the inches of the webs on here so it's a guide to tell you like if you're gonna do a center part like these are the smaller webs to where to put them you know all that schism is all you feel me I think there's nine or ten I wait till I pull the whole pack but there is about nine to ten webs in there which is the average for a lot of clipping companies so I got the 4C coily I saw 4A I didn't see any 4B I think my hair is more like a 4B texture but I didn't see any and the 4A look kind of too curly so I'm like you know what I'm gonna just stick to 4C and see what happens stick to that kind of rhymes so yeah we're gonna try this and i got my in color because i'm like i already have like three bundles of natural hair clippings already and they're all in natural black so um i got 1b30 in my clippings guys go look in your local beauty supply store if i can find it online i'll put the link but i guarantee it's probably gonna be cheaper if you find it in store it says to blend your leave out with the clippings that have a looser curl pattern than yours try twist outs pin curls or bantu knots so it's already giving you instructions on the back on how to use the clippings okay sis like it's giving you the whole whole lot of you can use what's this try perm rod set on damp here i don't know all of a sudden a lot of these companies have they have been catering to us you know why that's representation guys we did it like we're out here causing these companies to actually step their game up in the products that they are producing so can we get a round of applause for representation thank you okay so i took mine out of the back and i'm not going to talk through the video the actual video when i'm doing my hair i'm just talking through this first part i know i'm talking a whole lot but um okay so it says there's nine clipping pieces Blends perfectly with curly and textured hair, creates longer, fuller looks, limitless quick styling possibilities available in all type of colors. So what I want to test is how it reacts to water because the whole point of natural hair clipping is so that it acts like natural hair. You know, your hair can blend effortlessly. I can wear this on vacation, get in the pool, wherever in the winter time and it's supposed to act like actual human hair right that's that's what we're expecting and I'm so glad for this because I know a lot of people like I was even contemplating trying to do a video on that um how to create your own clipping type of thing and I got them like I got all this to be sitting down 
trying to wrap some hair, some king, um, candy cologne hair on some straws. Like, that sounds like a lot of work. So if you can get the clippings for $30, like, that's God sent. So thank you. Okay, now without me further rambling, let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, it's time to see how these clippings actually work. So I'm just showing you the package. You can screenshot this if you want to go find it in your local beauty supply store. So it says 4C coil. We already showed you guys that. Um, the price on the colored one is a little bit more. So it's $38 for the colors. And um, these are the wefts, nine wefts inside. They're super thick, so you know you're gonna get a full look. I don't think you need more than one pack. Now this is how um, one or the three inch wefts are looking. As I said, my fingers didn't easily run through it. It's a little bit coarse, a little bit hard, but we're gonna figure it out. So this is what my hair is looking on my bonnet, sis. Like, with clippings, you don't have to do anything perfect underneath it. You could do um, braids, back, twist your hair put it in a bun whatever that's just the magic of clipping so i already moisturized my hair and all of that but i like to put in this coconut milk cream of nature leave-in conditioner because it makes my hair so soft sis. and you need to make sure that your hair is soft and moisturized under your protective styling it don't matter what type of protective styling make sure you protect your hair okay so i'm starting with the seven inch clipping and basically all you got to do is measure um the nap of your head or your neck or whatever to see which size clipping goes where and of course you're gonna take off the little tag on there that says how much inches the clippings are i know some of you will probably put it on with it okay so i'm gonna need to tell you so make sure to snap down your clippings clippings are so secure i don't know what some people are afraid of clippings like sis as long as those babies are snapped you are good look how thick that is and that's only two webs now i'm just showing you guys um the inches that i use in the back or from ear to ear and then after that you could just fill out the rest with whichever one you want to fill out in whichever area so that's what i'm doing just putting it randomly after that to make sure that um the entire top part is filled out and don't even worry about the little bumps in where my hair is because as i said this thing is so full it will cover it you don't even have to worry about what your hair looks like underneath your clippings some people like to blend their natural hair with the clippings in the back but my hair gets too poofy and it's too full and then i'm gonna start looking like shaka khan and diana ross and the supremes like it's too much so i need to put my hair away now I'm just gonna put the three inches at the top and this is just going randomly to just fill out the rest of the top ear. As I said, one pack sis, one pack. Unless you got a big head, maybe two, <laughs> a pack and a half maybe, but honestly, you don't need too much sis. You, you, you Come on, y'all don't gotta be extra with it. And that's basically it. So I am done applying my clip in and then I'm going to try to blend my hair with it afterwards. Now it is time for me to attempt to blend my hair with these clippings and um, yeah, pull out my twist. You can do a twist out or braid out. You can try to twist your hair in the pattern of the clippings, but that would take a whole day for my hair to dry all that. I ain't got time for all of that. So I'm gonna use my Aunt Jackie Don't Shrink Coconut, or is this a coconut gel? I don't know, but you can use any gel that you want to. So I'm trying to define my hair a little bit. My hair is not gonna show too much because I'm gonna push the hair forward towards my face to frame it anyway. So I'm not too worried about my hair in the front. But if you know you're gonna do a like a pullback type of style, you could try to do a braid out, a twist out, wherever, whichever to match the pattern of the clippings. But it's supposed to be a four C's and as you can see, it doesn't look like no damn four C's. Like if I'm being real with you. The texture is, the curl pattern is nice, but it's just not for C to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it needs to be a little bit, I don't know, but y'all know how 4C pattern is, and this is not it. Especially with my hair being 4B, and this is supposed to be 4C, it didn't match. But anyways, I'm going to use my um, 
EBIN um, New York Edge Tamer. And I'm just slicking my hair back, you know, since you got to get them edges under control. Listen, you don't even have to get your edges under control, but I want my edges to be slicked back because that's my preference. So that's what I'm doing. You saw me, you guys saw me use this edge control in um, my edge control video. Sis, as I tell you, after a while, edge control don't work for me. Like, this did not stay all the way back. My hair started to revert after 10 minutes, even though I put the, um, what's this called? The got to be freezing spray on there. Girl, this ain't stay, like, it stay all of 10 minutes. I wasn't even sweating or nothing, like, during the process of this video. As soon as this video was done, my hair started revert reverting, and it was just not it. So, I'm gonna do another edge control video for you guys trying another edge control now i'm just adding water to the clip and trying to soften it up some people say you can use the leave-in in there you can use conditioner in a spray bottle with water but i don't feel like using any products on this right now because just in case it didn't work out i don't want to waste my 20 dollar products you feel me so i'm using water just to see if i can get it to soften up and then I'm gonna use the scissors to just clip some of the hair. It's too much in the back. I'm gonna do some of it off camera because I need to uh, like a mirror in the back to see what's happening. But basically all I'm trying to do is to frame my face. So you can trim it if you want, but I would suggest trimming it to suit the shape of your face. So that's what I'm doing. You can still see my hair sticking out. It's just like, oh my God, girl. I feel like this will be nice in a half up, half down type of style. So you guys could definitely try that. I feel like it would be super cute. And yeah, so I'm just gonna finish trying to trim it up, trying to make it look moisturized. So I'm removing my molding wrap to see how my edges are looking. And like, sis, look at that. It's, it's looking great at first, but after a while, it's like not having it. Like it didn't want to stay down. So now I'm just trying to trim the front, as I said, to frame my face. And guys, be careful when you are cutting the front okay like girl i thought i almost cut my hair like i'm like god damn like then i remember like, girl your hair is not that long so it relaxed so yeah i'm just gonna <laughs> finish trimming it up and then i'm going to show you guys the completed look then i'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this clip-in so stay tuned Okay guys, now we have come to the end of the video and this is my final look. Now I'm gonna list the pros and cons of these clippings and um, let's start with the cons. So the first con for me was that it didn't feel like natural texture. And when I say that, you can just tell the difference between human hair and a synthetic or synthetic blend hair. And it definitely felt a little bit more coarse than how human hair would feel. And also, this is supposed to be a 4C type texture. And I can tell you, I don't know which 4C this is. This looks like more like a 4A, 4B, if that type of texture. This is definitely not a 4C type of curl pattern like sis I'm a 4b sometimes I can get away with like a 4a depending on how my coils are looking and my hair was kinkier than this 4c pack so that's two cons in one that it's not actually or to me it doesn't actually look like 4c hair and it doesn't have a very soft texture it's really more like a coarse feel and yeah it just doesn't feel human like even though it says 100 percent human hair blend now this is basically what it is it's a quick weave okay you're gonna pay for what you get which is a quick weave in a form of clip-ins that's it that's that on that 
So the second con to this is that it doesn't react to water. Like, again, as I said, it's like crochet here. Like, some crochet here, it just depends on the blend of hair that they use. Um, it, you will get some reaction in terms of like, it would get a little bit soft, but it won't react how a fully human hair natural clip-in would feel. Like, as soon as you put water on, what the hell is that? As soon as you put water on human hair clippings, it gets super soft. It's you can detangle it, do all types of things with it because it's actually human hair. But with this, with water, it actually sits on top of it just like a crochet, normal crochet hair, and um, it doesn't drip as much. Meaning that some of it does react to the water, some of the hair. I don't know, but it doesn't fully react to water. And I feel like another con is that. I can't see this hair lasting for a very long time meaning that it will serve its purpose which is to give you a style but I don't think it is something that you will have for a very long time as I said it's like a, it is a quick weave it's like crochet here and that's that on that now the pros though the pros is the number one pro is the price now if you are on a budget and you want natural looking clip-ins I would definitely say get this if you're not so sure about clip-ins also and you don't want to spend your money on clip-ins you're not sure how you'd be able to style it or what not or whatever if you want a trial run get these like it is a good temporary trial type of thing so the price and if you just want something quick easy you're not looking for anything I don't know for longevity this is it it is bouncy it's not stiff stiff wear sis it's super bouncy it has the natural look but as soon as some if don't make nobody touch your hair first of all but if someone was to touch your hair it it's not that bad you know what I'm saying but it just doesn't have that human feel I don't know if I'm used to natural human hair textured clipping that's why I can tell the difference right away between the two but if you're not even an expert in all of that who cares you know what I'm saying so to save a buck if you're on a budget all of that definitely get these but as, again as I said be mindful that the 4c is not exactly 4c I don't foresee it being 4c sis you get it <laughs> okay I was cheesy and corny I'm sorry it, it's not very good at blending um I had a little bit a trouble trying to blend it with my natural hair I'll give it a thumbs up just because it serves it serves its purpose and the hair is the price that you get it for basically so keep that in mind and that's that on that now this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching I hope this tutorial and talk through video was informative for you tell me what you guys think you can follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that chef if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet like sis we are weird pun you're already here you watched the whole video like subscribe to the channel now like you ain't want to see more videos like these subscribe down below sis. and that is all that i have for you guys today go on big up on yourself bye guys Mwah.